Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna get AI to actually write us some Docker files. So uh, let's get started. All right, so there's this huge thing that's been going on, which is AI chat or called chat GPT. This is basically AI generated responses to the questions that you ask. I've actually been playing around with it for the past week and this thing's pretty impressive. It's not perfect, but it is pretty impressive. So to jump into it, I'm gonna go into my desktop and to get into this application, it's actually called chat.openai.com. You do need to make an account with them just to use it. Other than that, from what I can see, it is free. You can ask it basic questions like, hi, how can I help you today? How are you doing? Stuff like this, it'll actually give you a pretty re good response. You can actually have full conversations with this, um, given that, you know, the ability of how much it can answer. But a lot of people that I've seen online, actually me, have been using it to write programs. Now, I've tried this already and it does write programs, but it doesn't make you a programmer. If you're not a programmer from start, even though it generates the codes, you might not be able to understand it or know if it's going to work or not unless you are a programmer. So there's the limitation. Like you're not going to ask it law questions. You won't even know if it's viable or not unless you have a degree in law. It's like that kind of thing. But yes, if I ask it something simple like uh, write a program to make rain fall. Sure, here's a single program that animates rainfall. And this is actually using Python. I didn't even tell it to use Python, but it is gonna be using Pygame. So it gives you a canvas uh, and initiates it 800 by 600 width, display the screen. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to go down, but it seems like it's just gonna do a random color of, well, it's not really random, it's this color. Set raindrop color, raindrops, and it's gonna fall self and it's still drawing, okay. It's still calculating. Wow, this is actually pretty impressive. Um, this is the first time I'm actually asking to make rainfall. So I am actually gonna see if I can run this code, but there are times where the code will not work. And unless you are a programmer, you won't know where the error is or how to fix it. So uh, let's give this a try while this is still loading. There we go. It actually explains the code as well. This uses Pygame, library creates falling on the raindrops class, etc., etc. So let's just copy this code. Oh, I could have just done this copy code and open up terminal, uh, nano rain.py. I'm gonna just paste this in here. Close out of that. I'm not even gonna check it. Python, it might not work because I need Pygame, so yeah. Pip3, do I even have pip3? sudo app install python3 pip. Let's get that installed real quick for pip so I can install pygame because that's what it's uh, the module that it needs. Uh, python3, oops, nope. pip3 install pygame. Okay, so Python rain. Okay, all right, so that was just an example and it seemed to work very well. I mean, it just did one rainfall instead of raining, but I didn't have to touch any code. I just copied and pasted and it did that using Pi game. That's it. That's pretty impressive. I mean, it could do better, but that's still pretty impressive. Now, what I've been actually using it for is pretty interesting is uh, you can actually ask it to write letters. So I've also been doing it like this, write uh, text message to boss uh, for being sick. Here's a sample text message you can send to your boss letting them know you're sick. Hi, I'm sorry, I want to let you know that I'm not feeling well today and I will need to take the day off. I make sure to catch up on any work I miss. Thank you. Da, da, da. That is really cool, especially if, if you're gonna use this for like just intricate um, messages or text or emails, this will definitely help. And I see this growing to be a lot um, 
more advanced later to build bigger sample letters and stuff like that. But yeah, it's getting there. Now, those are the couple of things that I find very interesting. What I wanted to do next was actually build a Docker from what I built, which is the Alpine XFCE no VNC. So I'm gonna see if it could do that. Now we're gonna do write, write a Docker file that will run Alpine XFCE4 with no VNC. Oh, it's working. Okay, so it's installing terminal, screen shooter, task manager, and a bunch of other stuff, Wesker menu, which I should have done too, but I do have uh, the other menu, the default one. No VNC, WebSockify, VNC server. Um, okay. Now that is very interesting, but somehow error in body stream. So I kind of just lost that. Now I've seen this happen because there's a lot of users using it and it just seems to have issues sometimes where it's trying to send you the information. So I'm gonna try to send the stream again. And this time it seems to have a completely different output. Like it didn't have the XFCE uh, task manager or the whisker menu or a few other things, but it's like an extremely short version. So I'm gonna run this and see if this works because it's very, very cool that you could actually just tell it to create a Docker file, which means we're gonna be able to increase our Pi hosted series with more intricate uh, Dockers. So I'm gonna go over to download. Actually, no, I'll just make a folder here. Mictor Alpine test, okay? CD Alpine test, nano Docker file and I'm gonna paste this in here, all right? I'm not really gonna go over it, but it's 6080, it's gonna expose, okay. Now I am gonna do docker build IT, and I'm gonna name this uh, Alpine test, period. Oh, I think it's T, T, T. There you go, sorry. I'm so used to IT when I run the docker. Okay, so it's unable to select packages, because there's no package called no VNC. So obviously this doesn't work. So again, I'm not ruling it out that it's not a great application, but there are situations where something like this will not work. And obviously this didn't work because there's no selected package called no VNC. Now it is required by world. So it means it's quickly able to diagnose this situation. I'm not gonna do it, but as you can tell, it is able to do it. All you have to do is just add the code to allow the world repository in the Alpine, and you should be able to get no VNC working, but I'm just gonna leave it off like this. So that is it, guys. This is just a short little video talking about ChatGPT. Uh, in my understanding, after playing around with it for like a week or two, it is very limited on how much coding it can do. It does give you a lot of sample codes that you can start off with. But again, if you're not a programmer to begin with, you're not gonna understand the codes that it comes with. That's why it could give you the answers that you might need. But again, you should be a programmer to kind of like understand what it's trying to spit out. Same thing with Docker files or anything else you're gonna do. It's really, really cool that it gives you like a starting point. Like example, that letter that I wrote, which is write a text message to my boss about, that's a really good starting point for a letter. I would actually make it a little bit more personal, put their names in and stuff like that and change it around. Maybe add more text with what I'm trying to cover or what I'm missing. But then again, it's a really good starting point for anything that you need creating. So this AI program is absolutely amazing for now. And I, I only could see it being better in the future. So far, like a lot of things that I've been using it for, um, I compared the searches with Google and this replaces Google on some of the search results. It's, it's really cool. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below or hit me up on Discord. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as same my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.